we have not told our listeners that you are one of the youngest artists in town. How old are you? I am 12 years old. Hey, Jamani. <laughs> Kaka Jamani, ukiwa 12 ulikuwa unafanya nini? <laughs> wow, 12 years old. When did you yeah. start singing? I started singing at around three. Okay. Then I went to like music classes. Mm -hmm. Then I started like recording cover songs when I was eight. Okay. Yes. And how about writing? You're an author that we're going to talk about your book. Uh -huh. Yes, I've written a book called Ocean Warrior. Mm -hmm. And it's a book that educates people on the importance of conservation and restoration of our environment and the ocean oh wow yes. when did you start writing i started writing like august mm -hmm. last year okay yes last year august towards the ending of august mm -hmm. yes manager stroke mom mm -hmm. ebu advice was as you could joke as a babu was as you know when jay at you not a quam sunny what are you my money Usani's cousin in Korea, one uh -huh. of some of the most uh, probably richest people in the world right now are creatives. Yeah. Like they're musicians, artists, kina Beyonce, kina Jay-Z are making it to the Forbes because of mm -hmm. their creativity. Yeah. So yeah, support mtutuwako kama kwa na talent, you never know. Uh -huh. Ineza kwa ni football, ineza kwa ni, you know, any sport, maybe yeah. it can be acting, it can be Taylor Perry is an actor, mm -hmm. one of the richest uh, filmmakers and uh, people, gurus in the film industry and making it. So all these are talents. Yeah. You have to support your child mm -hmm. at whatever level. Yeah, And you have to start early. Uh-huh. Yeah. As early as now. As early as now. As early as you discover it and the, the, the interest is there. If you have the ability to do it, mm -hmm. just do it. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Why manage her instead of finding someone else, a management, a label? Why manage her? All right. Um, Shanare is still very young. Mm -hmm and um, uh, she has other things going for herself too. School is very important and especially, actually school is a priority. Mm -hmm. uh, as much as you're investing in her music and in her creativity, mm -hmm. school is number one. Yeah. And um, for us to have somebody manager from outside, they'll just look at, look at her as a business opportunity mm -hmm. and there'll be so much pushing and forget that this is number one is a, is a child that needs structure mm -hmm. and uh, also there are other things that are in place. So I feel it's really important for a parent. You can have even, uh, I can have an assistant manager, which I do have. I have people who help me managing, but I'm the co-manager okay. because I understand that my child number one is still a very young girl mm -hmm. and she needs a structure around her. Mm -hmm. And um, all these factors considered, I think I'm the best person to do it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. have, you, have you ever tried uh, someone else? Yes, I have. I've worked, uh -huh. with, the, I've worked with King Kanon. Okay. I've worked with Roy. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Daj, uh, I, I love you. Because some of my managers, yesterday we were no, talking no, no, with no. an artist. Uh -huh. Na kulikuwa na story ya oh sijui nani akakula pesa ya nani yeah. YouTube channel ikaibiwa and, uh -huh. and all that. Uh -huh. No, uh Kenon and Roy are very authentic people. Okay. Like uh, I would vouch for them any day. Any person who wants to work with Kenon or any person who wants to work with Roy, yeah. those are two and let me just say this directly to the camera. Those are two very authentic managers and, okay. they, and they know their way around the industry. Mm -hmm. They've been on it for a very long time. So I would vouch, vouch for them any time any single day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. That's nice. Back to you, Shanaria. Yes. You're the founder of a Young Warriors Kenya. Mm -hmm. What is it about? It's it's just like a club mm -hmm. where we have like activities so that we can like restore our oceans. Mm -hmm. So the activities that we do is like beach cleanups and we're on a journey of planning on on planting okay. one million mangrove trees mm -hmm. by the ending of this year or next year. Ooh, wow, yes. that's super, 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 super awesome. Yeah. We are talking with Shanaria Evans, who is right here in studio. So if you have a question, drop it. Pale kwenye comment section, pale kwenye Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, up X, and also on my WhatsApp number, which is plus two five four one zero four twenty five eighty thirty five. And you are an award-winning musician. Yes. Tell us about it. Um, uh, I've won um, a GMI award, also an award in London. Okay. And many other awards that I cannot mention because mm -hmm. 
they are just many mm -hmm. and i really thank everyone kwanza the ones for voting uh -huh. thank everyone for voting for me kwanza um, is gonna pesta let's <laughs> move vote na pesta <laughs> yes. uh -huh. also my class teachers sometimes they'll come oh you are in this award then they like vote for me like a lot of times and mm -hmm. I really thank them for supporting me mm -hmm. you know some teachers don't support yeah let me yeah. ask you how, how is it in school no jo, let me tell you where is school ukwe ati uko talented alafu ukose ku unashika kitu class yeah, yeah, hey, no, yeah, no, let kiboko. me tell you shara kuja wa mama anasema wengine kazi yao ni ku dance na kwa kitu anashika tu ku dance how is it in school school is just normal uh -huh. yeah they're not bullying you because that's bullying me, Germany. Uh -huh. I know I'm just I just with my friends no more like the way and your teachers see my teachers just treat me as one normal student uh -huh. yeah how are you sana msana ule msani nite ule msani hapana for you mm. oh that's nice that's maybe nice. once in a while maybe if they're mm -hmm. like trying to you know showcase okay yeah but then not all the time mm -hmm. yeah. let me ask you something today on our breakfast conversation we were talking about what is something if you would go back in time and change about your childhood you're still a kid okay like in the season maker zingine ukiwa miaka 10 sasa uko 12 the past two years what is something that you would change um i don't know um my sense of fashion Okay, it looked bad. It looked bad. I was wearing a skirt as uh -huh. a bottom and then I was still a different skirt as a top. So, what? Na mama ulikuwa. Ah, me I let her be. Uh -huh. I just let her be. Akitaka <laughs> kuwa <laughs> is it what nini madogo za hiyo hiyo ni shida yake. Iko sawa hiyo. It's decent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, if that's your style, that's your style. <laughs> I let you be. How yeah. about you, mom? What is something that you would change um, about your childhood? I really don't know because I don't know. I just I I, I think I'm one person who's very appreciative of what mm -hmm. all the challenges, all the difficulties, the good times, the bad times because mm -hmm. they've really shaped me up to be the person that I am. Maybe uh, but again that I don't have the power to do that because I lost my parents very young. So if mm -hmm. I had the power probably to change and just have my parents around when I'm yeah. older uh because there's a lot there's a lot of emptiness that me probably uh, as a family we felt. So if i had the ability to change that i would mm -hmm. but still um i just appreciate everything i've been through because in one way or the other they've really shaped me mm -hmm. yeah wow yeah. wow wow eh hey, mimi ni get change let me tell you if i would change something about my childhood is the school that i went to eh mimi nipele kwa ushago ngine place uko katikati ya msitu hakuna kitu i'm like what's wrong kwa demu nitaki jamani sasa rather than ungepele kwa shule ya soft life you turn out to be the person you are today because maybe you can find you are soft and you just don't even by the way I didn't think about that but ningeuliza mimi ninge na international school the Singapore bird what are you talking about what are you talking about you are gen alpha give me a slag where is gen alpha no no you are gen z anashinda kisi si ni gen z where is gen alpha ulizaliwa lini 2011 when gen alpha and gen alpha starts in 2013 ah ah mocha ni kujiongeza me okay huh? google proved me google proved mom she just uh -huh. refused to agree for okay. real yes oh uh -huh. i consider myself genan okay so, yeah uh -huh. nilikuwa nataka kukuuliza swali lakini sasa umekata eh uh, because nimesikia gen alpha you have your own slang ama you don't know the I, the new I, slang i know their slangs uh, okay. just don't use them for you know, something like skibidi toilet yeah what is that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what is that i have what friends who are in alpha what does um, that mean i don't know something like someone can say ohio skibby toilet and that means like someone who's weird you're like your ohio skibby toilet you're weird you're weird it's, it's weird. what skibby toilet yes yeah, skibby toilet. toilet oh my god yeah. like. ohio skibby toilet you're what, weird. what do you say good someone good. is good so i i yeah someone is i hey let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you mimi hata si Gen Z mimi nimejitoa kwa Gen Z kwa sababu a a I'm giving it toilets giving it toilets is for 
Gen Alphas, then I choose for like the younger Gen Zs. Oh. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you, we are coming back with more. So the song is called Stacky. Mm-hmm. And it's it's a song like, you know, saying I don't want toxic friends. Okay. So I want good friends uh-huh. who are like, will be loyal to me. Mm. Not that I do something wrong, you shout at me. Mm-hmm. Then the next day you're coming and then uh, you're, you're becoming a, a good friend again. You've experienced that? No. I think so. When I was younger, maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah. What happened? An, is- an incident? So, I had like a friend mm-hmm. who used to like, you know my weird outfits. So she, like when I wear a bad, she would tell me, oh, you look so <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then uh, when I wear good, she'll be like, oh, you look so bad. So like. Oh, alikuwa nataka ukai vibaya. Yeah. Mm, that's toxic. And then I, now, uh-huh. now she texts me. She's like, oh, my best friend, you know. Like what? what? Yeah. She's the cute one. Yeah, she was like she was the most popular in the whole estate. Pri? Mm. Eh, do are, are you a groupie? Huh? Are you a groupie? What do you mean a groupie? I mean, unona ile mbogea was chana alafu kuna leader, kuna nini? Una kwa kwa hizo groups. But then my groups don't have leaders. Oh, yeah. you don't have leaders? Gen Z's don't eh. have leaders. <laughs> We had leaders. I love they were, uh, you, you know, the popular ladies, uh, yeah. the pop- popular girls. I don't know what they leaders. Why is it groups? Oh, so you do anything this leader says? Oh, please. Yeah. Chop a coffee. Ah. Hey, no, like, why why are you making people do whatever you want? You know? No. Because they're popular and they're stylish. I'll become popular myself. Hey, on period. <laughs> on period. <laughs> Mom, your last words as we wrap up. <laughs> <laughs> well okay this is so funny uh, uh-huh. yeah thank you thank you g for having us it's yes. been an awesome interview yeah i uh-huh. uh, thank you for the support yeah i'm chasing gomazake mm-hmm. yeah and guys kindly uh, stream and download her new music it's called sitaki it's featuring uh shanaria and sofia nzao yeah it's on and all, spotify it's on spotify and other boom and other music uh, distribution platforms mm-hmm. you can check out our music on um, um youtube videos yeah and thank you so much mm-hmm. we appreciate and love you all anything that we we need to check it out any project any event ah, okay anything. Um, uh, number one uh, shanaria is very active on matters to do with climate change she's okay. one of the young uh, africans i'd say or other kenyans mm-hmm. who are really interested in uh, promoting climate literacy programs in school she's working in collaborations with already 20 to 26 schools in uh, uh, mombasa county okay. to promote uh, climate literacy programs in environmental clubs mm-hmm. and through that we have a monthly beach cleaning activity that she does with uh, other schools and uh, she like she has mentioned she has uh, she she's running a campaign to plant a million mangrove do you know what mangroves are uh-uh. Okay, so let me tell you what mangroves are. Whenever okay. there's a water body like an ocean or a, or a river, mm-hmm. at the shorelines, kuna kwa gana hizo miti. Okay. Those miti, let me tell you one thing. They uh, they absorb carbon five times more than an acre of a, of a, of a tree planted in a forest. So it's okay. really good for climate change. And then uh-huh. they prefer, uh, they, they prevent... Uh, um, weather disasters like floods and hurricanes along the shorelines. So it's mm-hmm. really important. Like hurricanes can really filter the carbon from our um, and we stop uh, from our atmosphere and we stop even having this uh, global uh, climate crisis. Mm-hmm. So she's uh, she's she has a running campaign to plant at least a million mm-hmm. uh, between now and 2025, and uh, she's already started. And um, we thank you, and we also looking for other organizations that can actually partner up with her. Mm-hmm. She's already partnering up with the Kenya Maritime Authority, and we thank we thank uh, the organization for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, spread the word. We appreciate upcoming projects. Uh, she has she has uh, releases that are coming through the year, mm-hmm. and we thank God that just the other day she we had a first show in Arusha, Mkeka Nakanga Festival. Wow! She's just been accepted to perform at Bayimba Music Festival in Uganda between Ooh. between 11th to 15th September. Wow! First Kenyan as well for that. And uh, in October 25th to 28th, she's going to perform in Malawi for hey. the UMP Music Festival. <laughs> And the last one, uh-huh. there's another show coming in South Africa in December. Hey. It's only 12 years old. So, let me happy. tell you one thing. You need to open a label. <laughs> you know, yeah. the answer, this manager, 
This manager is overworking. Uh, over manager is like overwork. Yeah. Hey. She needs a vacation to be honest I feel like I my know. mom needs a vacation. I know. She can wake up uh-huh. at 7, she starts working at around like until like 11 uh-huh. and then now she eats, she watches watch, um, some movies. Mm-hmm. While she's watching the movie she's still working uh-huh. like making uh what a presentation or something. Yeah.